Hey everybody, I'm April Justine with Designer Exotics and today I'm going to do a collection highlight. This is Jack, his full name is Jack the Ripper, and he is our oldest male T negative. So he's just a visual T negative. I say just, but I think he's fabulous. Um, I am biased obviously because he is mine and probably the favorite in the collection, but I really do believe he's one of the darkest, uh, you know, in the groups that I've seen of people that share their collection, I feel like he really is the darkest. Um, I don't know if, we, oh, you're probably gonna hear him. He's hissing at the mic <laughs> and breathing into it. Um, he is a hissy animal of mine, but he is absolutely wonderful. When I first got him, I was actually very nervous about him because he was one of my first blood pythons that I got, probably my third or fourth, I can't really remember. Um, and he was very hissy and I just wasn't used to them at the time. Um, I, like I said, he's my absolute favorite animal that I have. He has sired um, a clutch of blood pythons this past year, so he, um, and two years ago also. So I have T negative, visual T negative matrix that came from him, um, and I can show you one of them as well. Um, and then he also sired uh, a lot of het T negatives and a couple visual T negatives. Uh, my goal is really to bring this color saturation that the T negative that he has as a T negative into the T negative gene in general. So consistently, you're going to have T negatives that have a very saturated color. Um, I find with the T negative morph, a lot of people will put it to normals that maybe don't have the best color because it always, the, the babies always will turn out absolutely phenomenal. Um, but I really want the normals to also look phenomenal. So I want them to be deep red consistently as well. So that is what I am working on is bringing in the deep red into that. So he'll say hello. <laughs> um, he is a pretty chill animal. He will let me know when he is tired of me handling him. Um, he has before done like this weird open mouth, like he'll open his mouth and just put it around my arm and not bite, but just be there which is super weird. He's done this to me and one of my friends before. And that's where he's like, okay, I'm not gonna bite you, but I'm really done now. Um, he, his, his coloring on his face, let me see if I can get you closer to him. Okay, there. You can kind of see it, he's being a spaz. Um, that gets passed down to his kids. So his face coloring, his kids honestly have exactly the same face as him, which is really cool. At least the ones from two years ago, now that they're coloring up really nicely, actually three years now, three years, they're coloring up really nicely and um, have his exact same face. And one of them has his exact same temperament, which is so funny to me. Um, and of course I kept her, she's my favorite. So this is Jack the Ripper. He is probably the core of my collection, even though he is just a T negative, you know, just a visual T negative, doesn't have any other color morphs on him. Um, his color is beautiful to me. Uh, he used to stick out his hemipenes all the time, so I could show you what adult male snake hemipenes look like without very much effort. He would hiss and just stick them out. He's, he's absolutely hilarious, a total character, and such a beautiful, beautiful animal. You know, I, I can't say enough about this guy, I really can't. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys like him. And if there's anything else that you wanna see in my collection that you know I have, please feel free to comment and I will make them one of the uh, collection highlights in upcoming videos. All right guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, a fantastic week, and all your snakes are doing fabulous. I will catch you guys later.